Do you want to learn how to make this awesome Shield of Fate paracord bracelet? Then go check this video. What's up guys? Today we will be working on a special model. It's called Desert Camo and I will be using this shield of fate made of brass bead and it will be an adjustable shackle bracelet on desert camo and I will just complete the bracelet by decorating it with this brown micro coat. Let's see what we will get. Firstly I'll cut my paracord which is about 3 meters of length and then uh, I'll cut my micro cord and you need some 180 meters 180 centimeters of micro cord for the stitching and after you cut your cord you just need to cut this little Oops, inside of your cord, as always. Then we will just burn them with the jet lighter. And the final touch like this after that you just need to find the middle of your cord and just put it into the U shackle like this and make the first knot put it on your jig after you place your base on the jig you need to put the shield of fate on the bracelet by passing these cords to the bead so both stands we'll place it in the middle so I will just leave it here for now and you need to stabilize your U shackles other part, the adjustable part on the jig. And now I'll pass the cords on this piece. them and right hand cord pass it to the U shackle and make a loop like this and pass it through the loop as well So this is the first one. Now for the left hand cord, I'll do the same. So this is the base 
all our bracelet. Now I will start my Cobra Nuts. Take your left hand cord, pass it over the base, and the right hand cord over the left hand cord under the base and pass it through this hole here. This is your first knot. And now for the right hand cord, again over the base, left cord over the right cord under the base and pass it to this loop here like this now I will keep making the same nuts I'm just in the middle as you can see you need to arrange this distance of the bead to both sides well I just want it to be in the middle of the bracelet so I'm done with this part of the bracelets now I will take it off the jig and I'll start the stitching we just got it off the jig now this is how our bracelet looks without the stitching I'll just cut the cords for now and I will make the final touch after I complete the stitching. My micro cord and my needle is ready and I'll start the stitching process from here like this. We will make the herringbone stitches. You can leave this much of cord here because we will come back to this part again. Just find this hole here, pass your needle like this, go back and pass under the micro cord. Again from outside to this hole like this. And over the coat. You just need to fix them well after each stitch. So this is the first one. Now I go for the second one. Go back and pass under the micro cord. From outside into the loop, to the hole here and over the micro cord and fix it just like this 
and do the same for the third one This is the third one. Now I will deal with these ones as well. One last chord. Here it is, all done, the shield of faith. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. Have a good day.